Reddit boy. No, no, we do. No, man, I look at the side. What is it? 8,000? 7,000? I just think that everything has its time. The stars are lying every, every now and again. Grime wasn't meant to have had its time until now. Because I think if Grime had its time then, a lot of people still didn't understand even the British culture, like the way we speak, the way we dress, you know what I'm saying, the music we make. The UK is one of the biggest musical creators in the world because we had Pirate Radio. Pirate Radio was like life. Without Pirate Radio, I just think there would be no grime. It's beef. What do you know about beef? What do you know about? What do you know about? when I said I'm gonna start doing the music properly. Because up until that point, I was doing music, but I wasn't really taking it seriously. I was more on the road than anything. And then I clashed Wiley and I thought, right, I'm gonna really put my all into the music. Jamie, Skep, Maximum and Wiley just started Boy Better Know. This had been like 2005. Skep and Jamie was like, yo, just come, man. And that's when I joined Boy Better Know. Grime it means a way off the street, a way to support your family, a way to express yourself. Mainly, more than anything, expression. Rooney, what's going on, fam? How you, how you been, bro? How you been? Yeah, not bad, not bad. Just had a little epiphany still, and I, I, I want to draft you in on something. I want to chat to you more. If you can link me, that would be good still. I heard you're driving taxis now, so I'm not sure if you're going to have time for little people like us in it. Ah, uh, see? Boss. See? That's what I'm talking about. You're a boss out here. All right, cool. I'm going to text you the postcode, yeah? All right, fam. Cool, man. Yes. Yeah, risky roads. Squad in, busy rascal, and you're watching risky roads. Risky. Yes, yeah, lethal bizzle. This is risky roads DVD. Risky roads too. Risky roads, SD boy. The roads are well risky, you know, fam. See you, bro. No I got into it through listening to like pay as you go and nasty sets, and then kind of from garage and DJing, it evolved into me picking up a camera because I wanted to know what certain people look like. That's the thing, you never back then you might have not known what someone looked like. And for certain times where I worked in Riven Division, I had the camera, and certain people used to come in. So, yeah. say, like J2K walked through the door, yeah. and I've heard the voice, and I'm like, Sparks, oh, is that J2? He's like, Yeah, yeah, that's him. And then that was uh, how I come away with, you know what? Let's start, like, do the DVD thing. The idea that I had would be to do, like, a pirate radio set, like, recreate a pirate radio set for one day. Sick. It just needs to be, like, a celebration, man, of, of all the good things that's happening for Grime right now. I do miss, on a personal level, I do miss the pirate radio. You know, there never went a day you know, without me like writing lyrics for Pirate Radio on a Monday night, eight to 10, you know what I mean? Every day, yellow rough book, lyrics, 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 all to go and just spit bars and, you know, take that mic from someone else and say my thing and try and get a wheel up and competition and all of that stuff that helped build all these artists that are out now, myself included. Like this is the most important thing in my life at the time. Him being Rooney and him being the guy that done Risky Roads, which is another important part of the history. He's been orchestrating 
some of the people that I didn't get to reach out to personally. It's mad being out on the road with Frisco going to see some of the major players in the grime scene's pirate radio, you know, because everyone in the scene kind of knew what pirate was and it was a tight-knit thing, so you didn't have to go and interview them guys. But obviously now, the way the scene is and it's blowing, people need to know where it all originated from. It's good to go and get their insight and in what's going on. Our only option was to start a pirate radio station, so we started Rinse, and it was like, I mean, at the beginning, it was like me, Wiley, Slim, Target, a few others, do you know what I mean? And that's like 22 years ago that we started that. There was like Page Go, Heartless Crew, and Soul Solid, and we was all kind of like similar kind of culture from completely different areas that had a similar drive, and we really cared about MCs. Like, Rinse in the first place had something like six DJs and 50 MCs, it was a joke. We tried to do the garage thing, but we'd done it wrong. So it's like, when you think about grime, it's probably like a, it's like an accidental birth. Yeah. We didn't mean to make it, we just made it. The whole reason it turned to grime is because in those days, we were like the younger lot. Like the garage guys, they had their scene, it was like 10 years deep. Yeah. Their DJs was already kind of established. Their MCs were like hosts rather than yeah. spitting bars. And then all our young lot came through and rap about the ends and yeah, cool. talk about that chick or <laughs> that clash at a rave. And the garage, some of the garage team were like shunned it a little bit, like oh, it's a bit aggressive. And plus the music, the actual instrumentals didn't really fit that vibe because it was like light-hearted, like girly tunes, yeah. everyone's drinking champagne with loafers on, like, which was sick as well. <laughs> that was a vibe, don't get me wrong. <laughs> but then this new wave was like, you needed like grittier instrumentals, darker instrumentals. So we'd go in the studio and start making tunes like Earth Warrior or Wiley made Eskimo, which is like, and still to this day, like legendary. And that was just trying to get from garage to a sound that suited the MCs more. Yeah, cool. The radio was on seven days a week, so no matter how much we might have made at the raves, it always went back into the radio. We always needed decks, MCs would always drop the mics. Do you know yeah. what I mean? Needles would go, speakers. You wanted this go the furthest and like sound the best. This is where Dream Team, Matt Jamlamont, Colbran, EZ, myself, Slim Z, Maximum Khan, just cut all their dub plates. This is Freddy. It gives you a buzz sort of thing, like climbing roofs and three in the morning, four in the morning, gamble around London, nicking that scaffolding poles. Pirate, in a sense, gave me a it's career true, yeah, through the like, camera, so with you, it's gave... Same. <coughs> like, I think it gave us all, like, because yeah. without the artist DJs, you wouldn't have had stuff to film, but then it works both ways because off the back of that, mm. it opened it up to a whole wider audience. Do you know what they call genius genius, right? Nah. Go on, tell, tell me. <laughs> oh, no, no, Them man who like notorious, because them man geniuses, because he's small, he can climb up this shaft and dangerously risk his life. So, you know, like, hunt that like, 25 feet down, like a like, dropping it. So he used to climb in the lift shaft and put the link for the rigging up in, in the lift shaft. That's hard to get in up in there, you know? You gotta be really, really, and if you sip, you're gone, you know? That's why they call him genius, because he's that smart. So all DJ I can do is chop the wires. They couldn't even get to the box. So that's why I'm notorious for that. So that's why Rinse FM was always on. While there was no internet, there was just radio, there was no other way to get music out there. So we built music as friends and shared it with 30 mile radius, yeah. which then went on with tapes to go further. And then other people got interested in it and other people started participating in like, let's get this on the bigger radio stations now, do you know what I mean? The power of the pipe for me was the realness, uh, the rawness, and uh, the, you know, uncut baby, it is what it is. This is the street speaking right now. The editorial control was denying these artists their voice. Yeah. It was denying their voice. They, they were getting shut down when it was live. When it was recorded, their story was getting edited. And this, this isn't fair, man. This is not fair. It's an artist-led scene, and these artists, like Skepta, you know, have pioneered this scene and opened new doors and brought the US marketplace to it, or the US artists paying attention, like the biggest eyes in the world, Drake, Kanye West, ASAP Rocky paying attention to what the UK are doing. We all did it together, that's the main thing. It weren't like, I couldn't have done nothing if it was just me and Deja. I used to DJ on Deja, I went on Deja when someone else used to own it. And I used to DJ, but these times it was garage. So 
the management at that time for that. So the radio went off. I had a little station myself at the time. Deja had no equipment, no rigs, no trans, no one to set up. So I was like, nah, what you got here is a sick platform. But I wanna do my thing, but do it differently. I've got one of the rigs from my old radio, taking it to a man that changes the dial on the rigs. Yeah. When I linked him, changed it to 923, because it was on Saturn Kels before. Yeah. I was listening to some crew, murky, like the road was going sick. Yeah. So I was like, who's this crew? Nasty crew. People was like, ah, oh, but these, these guys are road, but they're not going to listen to you. It's going to yeah. be mad for you and them. It's not even worth getting into it with them. When we were pirates and we were still allowed to be pirates, we could go on radio, we could say how we felt. I tried to get hold of Marcus Nasty, but I think he went to jail at the time. I would like to talk about Nasty for a little bit, if I may add. I kind of started something good, went away for a little bit. And when I came back, I still had the road mentality. And so whereas with them lot, I'd been out for some time doing their thing on a professional level, and they knew what's what, I came out with this same <sighs> aggy, behaviour that I had when I went away in the first place and it kind of ruined things and I feel like British music lost out for it, I really do. I don't want to say too much on the subject but Nazi Crew, we could have been the biggest thing ever and I take put that blame on me and I can only apologise to the British public for that, to the world for what I've done back then but I'm trying to make up for it. Heat of them, acts of them, pirate radio, cash model, boy better know the life. Trust me. <laughs> yeah. Like I wouldn't allow somebody to come from any area, it doesn't matter whether they're coming from Tottenham, they can't come here and start a drama in my studio, outside my studio, even on that piece of road out there, I don't give a fuck what it's about. And more time people used to get upset because of this whole indirect thing and whatnot. But more time it was it was it was people and the cap fitting certain people and people taking it a bit too and, far. And a man could come in and say a mad thing after you, fam. That was like what we used to live for on radio. You you that's what you used to write bars for. That was the whole, we never used to write bars for songs. We yeah, used to write I, bars for radio. I think. Uh, Do you get what I'm saying? I used to write bars time, to come radio. Fam. Yeah, man. As I older at that time, looking down on what you man was doing, I used to come there like. Often for me it was just about the subs. I'd come there and be like, how many man is in there? Right, all right, then cool, that's, <laughs> a, that's 180 pounds. <laughs> Say nothing, boom, give me that, give the 10 pounds to my man, my man go buy the chicken box. It is what it is. Certain men would come up there and do their shows, it was a mad thing. They, 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 you'd have 30 man in the studio with half a key of weed on the side and it's like kilo of weed sitting on the side and the studio yeah. was zoned out, I'd be coming in there thinking, fuck me, what are they up to today? Yeah, like, <laughs> you know, typical white fella coming in the room yeah. like, fuck me, boys, down someone yeah. think about opening up the fucking window, you know? <laughs> but you couldn't, because you was caged in, it was the den, that was the real den. The window, I mean, the, the, the flats that I used to use in this building, Sometimes they the were front boarded door. off, yeah. they were metal gated, the windows were gated, you weren't getting out of there. If the fucking building was on fire, you was dying with the decks, bruv. Are you dumb? Hi boy, I like the hype. Chatting shit. I know where it started. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah. I feel like I'm on the stage with you, man. Yeah, yeah. yeah? yeah. Um, and I and I cannot, on a genuine level, give you enough props for where you have taken it, yeah, because man. the scene was looking for token black boys. What they got was black boys that said, "Fuck you, mm. we're doing this shit ourselves." Yeah, four or five, something like that. Crazy. It's mad how it look how young everyone looks, bro. Nuts. How does it make you feel? Old. <laughs> <laughs> Old. Conversation me and Rooney was having before was basically we wanted to get you involved mm. to help us put the set together, as well as DJ in the set. We were saying that we want to get a couple old school MCs the alongside guys. the new guys, you get yeah. what I'm saying? Maybe just focus on the, the, the vibes in the room because it's not just the thing of just going to the set, you're going to a certain set. So, to make this happen, what are we going to do? So, first things first is we need to lock a date, then start contacting some mm -hmm. of the people that we mentioned. 
me, Frisk and Logan was talking the other day about recreating that pirate for all that one last set. I think that would be incredible. Um, I would pay money to see that. The best of the best, on the mic, going back to back, just how it was, okay. without the money, without the fame, straight home, without the followers, without everything, just strip raw. <laughs> I used to love the rodeo, man. Give us, when we were younger, like, give us something to do. You boil that like, you know, or just get in bother, or like, you know what I mean? But when we were young, like every week I had to get my lyrics up. And you knew at the end of the week he was going to fire with the boys, like. Yeah, of course. There was always loads of us up there. And, man, kept you on point with your delivery and that. Yeah, it's true. It's mad how far it's all come round and that. Like, we were saying, like, with this thing, we want to put it on and kind of keep it as authentic as we can. Like, you know, like, make it look grimy and look whatever. Like, do you remember Rinse back in the day? <laughs> and that, what was it, that underground gaff that White we used to go to? We always we was, we used to get it in the air, brother. It was always rubbish and chicken boxes and, you know what I mean, whatever about <laughs> snout everywhere. That's the beauty of radio. Who's been it? smoking in the studio and all that? What would you like to see happen on this set, like? Let's get everyone together, innit? Get a couple of DJs, mate, and we'll go for it, man. Just Old school. Old That's school? what it was, wasn't it? Yeah. Just the, the boys turning up. And just shell on the mic. I'm glad Frisco gave me the call because it's kind of like reminded me how much I love doing the Risky Rose thing. Don't get me wrong, I've still been about doing music videos and all that, but this has been kind of like reminding me of the old days of running around, literally phoning people up, going to make stuff happen. Me, Frisco and Logan met up yesterday. Oh yeah? Yeah, we were talking about doing a power radio set. Obviously. Obviously. You played a big part in your radio. radio, me. I've never been on it. Once again, I'm working in lads. <laughs> nah, of course, I've got... You was on it from early. From early, like, see before, power radio, Yeah. Gan on there, it was like, it felt like, say, like you've made it, if I could put yeah. it in that sense. Yeah. Like obviously, when you're young, we know that it's pirate radio. Of course, but yeah. we didn't really feel like we was doing nothing wrong, although you knew something maybe illegal. But to us, like we ain't got no other radio. This is us. One of the early ones for me though, he FM, he yeah. 966. When I'm sitting here in the car outside, I, I, little Tinchy scream up the place, ah, ah, it's on my leg. And after running there, I'm like, what the fuck? I'm, I'm sitting outside my studio, I'm thinking, what, what could possibly be going wrong in there that's making this kind of noise? The dogs, like, somehow come, everyone else is kind of moving. I remember Rapid, I remember Rapid, I remember Rapid the funniest one is, like, stepping and a slant, and this staff just jumped. And then obviously, well, I'm on the mic, radio, but obviously, come off it a bit. I don't know if I was screaming shy, I'm just running around thinking, and the dog's got my locked jaw like staff. I mean, I went in the studio, the fucking dog, he was hanging off of his legs to us. I had to give him a pinky for his, his Stone Island jeans or whatever. I don't know where he got them from, but I said to him, boom, there's your pinky, the next couple of sets are free, because I felt for the kid, you understand me? Because the dog did yam him still. Wow, pain, like bleeding, bleeding. Like, he kind of, like, obviously cleaned it up all yeah, that. Yeah. I thought, wow, normal person, man. Like, let me go home, hospital saying. I went back on the mic. It's, it's emotional, bro, but I think it was so raw with it. That set you up nicely for the commercial world. It gets you thinking, well, if you, anything ever sets you back, feel like that ain't happening. Don't feel like it's not meant to be for me. Nah, I'm thinking, nah, man. I was on prior radio. I've been bit by staff. Like, I don't know what I might call what it was, but I just want to MC. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Everything's starting to come together nicely still. It's never going to be an easy task. Yo, what's poppin'? This is Lethal Bizzle. Pirate Radio, to me, was somewhere where I used to go and practice, kind of learn my craft. It was like a motivation to go to a pirate radio to have new lyrics every week or as much as you can. It was basically our fucking Radio 1. And people used to call radio, 
text radio. Life calls. Loudspeaker from their phone connected to the. I don't even I know how it is. You say feedback. Yeah, that's why. Turn on your radio. Yeah, yeah. Because you'll be on radio and people will ring in and you'll be like, yo, 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 you're live. And you're talking to someone you don't even know on radio. Like, you're talking to someone you don't know from nowhere and you're live to everybody that's listening to you right now. Mm. You're ready to communicate with anyone, bro. I don't know any comment yeah, I've ever bro. written anywhere on any video or anything, yeah, whatever. Yeah, yeah, but yeah, I can yeah. remember listening to radio, <laughs> listening to say Fonty or whatever, and they say the phone, I'm like, oh, did you, nah, nah, I missed the last three digits numbers. So I have to wait, it says it again. I'm listening, listen, get the last digits number, now ring in. Ring up, ring up, or keep ringing, ringing, hang up, ring up, hang up, ring up, hang up for the reload or whatever. I can remember doing that, 100%. Yeah. Like, that was a real interaction, like, and, like, it was worth something. It was actually worth something. Oh gosh! We want it from the top? Yeah. We want it from the top, we'll record this, record you yeah. Well, you know about driving fully legit and still feeling big? That must just be a black man trait. First off, obviously, I want to involve you, car. You're, oh, you're original Dan already. Yeah. And you're my family. People might not know yeah, that. Cool. My cousins. Still. Actual family, blood related. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. How, how part it was is like having a set with a lot of exclusives, like dub plates, as well as yeah, the yeah, tunes, yeah. you know. And yeah, that's what yeah, kind of yeah. would add to it. Kind of bringing back that bubbly vibe of yeah, where yeah. it wasn't too complicated, but not too messy, but yeah, yeah. some you can hear the beat within a bar. Okay, you don't even know, yeah. you catch it and it's just, <laughs> reload. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, who you know from my block? You're not Al Capone, you get blocks. They can take my car and my tracks. Hey, let me go again. Pirate Radio was, there's no like, there's no doubt about who's who. Yeah. Like, there's no question. Like, cause you done this amount of views, it don't mean you're better than him. Yeah. Because you look down that show, don't mean, that just means, okay, in that arena, rare tear tear, but you see in the room, fam. Like, in the room, there's nothing to hide behind. Yeah. Would I be me if there wasn't Heartless Crew and Page Go? Yeah. When I see people like that, I still pay mad homage because those nights I was listening to Heartless Crew or hearing them bust up a rave or hearing those clashes and that the influence that that had over me, it definitely shaped the character who I am today. Yeah. Certain people do historical things and those moments shape the moments of tomorrow. conversation before like watching my DVDs yeah, and things yeah, like yeah, that yeah, so you get you get to see the different like you've yeah. seen the difference of where yeah, we was yeah. then to where we are now like how does that make you feel you know when I was young it really influenced me a lot like even like your DVDs like the Lord of the Mics the practice hours these, these things were like important to man because it kind of defined what I wanted to be when I first started that, Pirate Radio was like life, life, like, that was something I wanted to go to. When I finished, when I was in school, I wanted to bunk off and go to radio and just play music, like, Pirate Radio was, like, that's why I'm here today, because of Pirate Radio. And that's the beauty of Grime, because we could be on a big stage one day, performing to 60,000 people. Skepta might be on Jules Holland performing. And then we can come back into a room where we've just stripped all of that stuff back and we're just in a room and all that matters is the two decks, the mixer and the mic. Yeah, right now we're outside Groovem Division. Boaty Free Roma Road, and if you don't already know, this shop is the first founding shop for Grime and UK garages. One of the biggest shops in London, if not the UK. So let's go inside and check out what they've got in. I 
Uh, we're outside Zealand Road Coffee, formerly known as Riven Division. I need to go in there and convince a coffee shop owner to allow numerous MCs in the place to hold a pirate radio style set. It's a place that I think everybody holds special to their heart, me included. And it was a place where like, a lot of our careers in grime began. Frisco and Logan's going to be surprised and happy probably to get back in there as well. And everyone else who we bring down, it's going to be one of them things. So let's hope they agree it and we get it done. That was the hub, so if you could do it there, like, I think that would be just history in the making. Wait till you hear where we got it from. Go on. Rhythm Division. Shut up. Yes. How'd you manage that? Yeah, I had my yeah. Saturday job in Rhythm. Yeah. <laughs> that was like the best job, best, best job in the world, like getting 35 pound a week and spending it all on records. Obviously, I'll get, so the, 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 get, the, little di get the little discount, get a couple of test presses from a few people that come through and yeah. No, that was, that was the, that was the, obviously this is the best job in the world, but working in the record shop was definitely yeah, like, we had some good times top, in that shop. Yeah. A lot of historical moments took place in there. Yeah. Just the whole, the whole records getting cut, dubs, people playing and people running down there to spend their school yeah. money, whatever. Yeah, so it's a proper place, well. man. That's so, what I mean, bro. Yeah, the legendary, the legendary video, the, the, the Eskimo video, the Wiley, what, what do you call, call it? it? It's yeah. a good place to do it, man. And obviously the energies are in there, innit? Risky, bro. We're outside the fucking legendary landmark in Graham. It's called Zealand Road Coffee now, but it used to be called Rhythm Division. And this was the home, this was like the main hub. There are no close ups there. <laughs> back at Rhythm Division? Yeah, back at Rhythm Division, you know, years of this shit. Hey, I told you I'm going to come with him the vision, you get me? A lot of the original faces are back as well. Mm. So it's going to be a mad energy. Definitely. Original settings. Trust me, it's about to be a shutdown. We've got all the man in there. Legends. we got the man's them. And we're there. Pirate mentality. And we're doing this thing properly, trust me. Didn't wanna do it if I get like that Yeah, trust me, I can't take a check like that You're not a vet like that You can't pull up on a set like that My check, yeah, I can't check like that Spot me, no, we ain't blessed like that Man, get me vexed like that Didn't wanna smoke, got stressed like that Men's like that, get the sets like that Everything I re and blessed like that I ain't tryna win you over, just spin you over Like the grid jug ain't for it all Give rap, if they don't confirm, bitch slap Wake up when it's pitch black It's the old school riff rap Getting dome on the way home while I'm in the back of a dip dab I told you the way that I live's mad I get love in the slums I visit it's Cause I don't think that I'm so sick with it that I can't still chat to a man for a minute Yo, water boy, people see my baby mum, they're like, oi, they make noise boy, talk to girls, I don't talk to boys, yeah. Face time, my peer gone fingers, and it's not a long thing, just gone fingers, yeah. We got things in boots, under the seats now, things in boots. Endos kick got things in boots, so don't try to be got things in boots, and I blood. We got things in boots, under the seats now, things in boots. Endos kick got things in boots, yo, Frisco. <laughs> yo, take this one down and bring me the next one, please. It's like being back at River. Fam, it was mad. I was looking on the walls. Like, rah. Man, he still come here and buy records and listen. And even if I didn't really even know the producer, I was still listening and still buying. It's mad. Mad reminiscence, man. Yo, we got my brother Chip in the building. Ego. Supply man with an E flow. When I was in the mountain, Charles couldn't find man with some reroll. Let's talk about reloads. And why that was a reload. Then where they get reloads. It's cause of the beat though, we know Steve Rowe and the MC, please don't come against G-H-E-T-O They said they're going in and looking for the key Hold the way they're going in and they got located in the weed flow Be small The energy in this right now is a spreading pirate radio set Dex, mixer, mic, go Not every girl, not champion, <laughs> not Oopsie Daisy, none of that Dex, mixer, mic, go I line them up, let me use them for target because it's murder time tonight. Let me see. 
man and on. I don't like man and on. If you don't like me, then suck it and on. I can smell hate in the air. When I climb up to the top of the stair, we make the gal them stop and say. You want me to say something? No, I just talked to him. What do you want me to say? I don't know what to say. Who are you? Where are we? Go on, Mac 10 outside our Rhythm Division Bowl. What's Iconic it? record shop. What's it like being back in there? Oh. It's mad, it's a bit mental, it's different though, it looks like a cow. Not your mind, CB, Z1 for the R1, clutch, drop gears, gone! Hey man, scream with a fuck, see on his other way, Sharky is going on! What's with the dawn? What's with the dawn? With a language hand, with a part with... He sent them with a man, them a man up from, he sent them with a man, them a boom! He sent them with a man, them a boom, boom! I'm missing Carnation Street, man. <laughs> Fucking I'm a guy on the mic, I'm a master So much within that I should have been a dancer Every day you wanna see, you got a blaster Every day you wanna be a heat starter I'm a cold guy, scar man, like a knife of a t-shirt Can't really cut like a blaster Send me the ball, I blood, that's dead Man, I got me to come better with the price Then it comes short with the bread, that's dead I ain't got time for no money, guys If you ain't rocking with the tech, that's dead <laughs> This, man, you know what it is. I well, like Saf. You know what it is, man. Inside the building, Brom to London, you know what it is, doggy. The original Risky Roads camera. <laughs> Where Yo, are we right I'm now? happy to be on this. <laughs> I used to watch this when I was this big, bro. <laughs> Thank you, Tommy, saying I ain't done, my brother. Smoke pure weed with a yacht, my brother. 419 in the chat, my brother. Smoke pure weed with a yacht, my brother. And what do you know? What do you know? Every other day, I'm like, what do you know? Since 11, I was doing it proper. Then when I chat about lead, it's proper. I weren't a bad way, I weren't a shotter. Just like this, give me flows in my lock. You will get hit in the eye with a conquer. This one's a stonker. More time, I just want gas. More time, I'm trying to wind on a bumper. So, so, cause bar for bar, they get knocked out. Flow for flow, they get knocked out. Show for show, they get knocked out. Don't you know you get knocked out? Bar for bar, they get knocked out. Flow for flow, they get knocked out. Don't you know you'll get knocked out? Cause bar for bar, they get knocked out. I'm a dance ender, I'll come to the dance in February and murk man into November. I'm like chop down any contender, extinguish anybody I send for. Man must avoid my agenda, I won't wait for the signal to render. I make doppy left, right hand center, I make doppy left, right hand center, I make doppy left, right hand center. I got results, yeah I'm a mic man, no obligation quotes Yeah I'm a president but I ain't looking no votes From morning I've been instant and I ain't talking oats Yeah I had thousands but it ain't votes Man wanna talk about losing the screws but Lil does he know I lost all of my votes last couple times I was on bail, was for assault, don't ask me why Too busy counting notes, yeah, too busy counting peas And I was young, but I don't mean That I weren't counting G's, UK grind to the max degrees Luckily, let's play to you again Passing the shoulder, Kyoki, kicking the waist back. Kyoki, this best he get. Passing the shoulder, kicking the waist back. So what goes around comes back around like a boomerang. Acting like you got nine lives, the four five called that the remover man. So how could you not rate me? Disgusting lately, my girl gets mad when I buy crepes. I got the spare room looking like JD. What goes up's gotta come down. They don't make noise when I come around, so mind you don't get corn. I'm on my drop like Jason Bourne. Them man are sitting down, waiting on the bringing. Us men are up in the sky, winging. So get used to the fact that it's a boy. Better know, in and I'm winning, it's mad. Why you late me and it will end up sad. You're not bad, you're a gun bag. You're a good youth, don't know how you end up sad. So don't force it. The fake shit, I ain't gonna endorse it. Tell an MC, come down to the den. Boom. Them man are fake, them man are sus. I'm the boss, these pagans wanna touch. I'm the kind of boss that the ops got a rush, cause I make it ring something like bells on a bus. One on one, fair and square, man, a fuck. Swinging at my sword, swinging at my nunchuck. Running at a corn, man, I get a gun butt. Tell the pussy, yo, look sharp, fix up. What's wrong, huh? What's wrong? What's going on? Why you got your screw face on? Dead that, forget that, this track, nobody wanna hear that song. Better get your thinking hats on. You don't wanna diss me, that's long. I'm a don, lyrically gone, you want to cash, but you're gonna get banged on. Yeah, you got murked last week, couldn't even get a rewind, that's peak. Couldn't get out your punchlines on time, now you wanna diss me, oh blood, what a cheat. Sidewinder, you got air on the roads, Eskimo dance, you was spitting off beat. Yeah, you was spitting that heat, but right now your boss ain't on fleet. You don't wanna catch me, you will get murked. Bury MC six feet in the dirt. I know you saw the police outside, you see the blood on Devil Man's shirt. Got rude, that didn't work. She don't work. Dude. Yeah. Right now we're outside Riven Division, know, Big Frisk, so just on a pirate radio set, so you see the true energies of what this thing's really about, you get me? Back in the day when we weren't waiting for any permission to do anything, breaking into places, setting up rigs, <laughs> mums sitting on couches while we're doing our sets and that, you get me? That's the true, it's like street art. 
It's like the musical street art, you get me? We just set up anywhere. You can't roll with my family! We gonna shoot a black Nazari! And you're gonna build your inactive! I wrote talk, man. I need to shake your hand here. Yeah. Don't know, man. Yeah. That was some lady stuff I heard, like, Rhythm Division used to be here. Oh, this is what we got. You get me? And then everyone there, Pat Reed, even the Mike Lee. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Real stuff. Yo, yo, yo. Yo, yo. <laughs> Imagine that. Yo, yo, I got a working, yo. Yo, the mic's on still. The mic's on still. We saved, yo. You got, you got all the mic. You know when I read it? We pay sales, bro. Hey yo, we pay subs, but we can't speak down. Hey, we pay subs, we, we pay subs, we pay subs, bro. <laughs> Alright, cool. The walls tell stories. Because it's just so many memories. Like you look around the walls. A lot of us probably don't see them the way they are now. You remember what it was before. And so many monumental things in Grime happening there. Because shit like that, what we just done, is what we were doing then. That shows you how genuine it is. That ten years later people have had number ones. That's all stripped down. I know that means anything when you're in there. The pirate mentality is about empowerment. It's about ownership. This is about independence. Everyone's still got that same pirate radio bug. We're trying to own everything, bruv, yeah? We're not trying to work for no one. We're trying to run shit. No one ain't working for me. Man's working with me, you get me? And that's what it is, that's what, we're, that's what we're on right now. Greatness and nothing less. When this is a good point, yeah? British music as a whole, let's work this one out. Jamaica's got what? Bashman, Soka possibly. America's got hip hop, R&B. Um, Africa's got Afro beats. We've got garage, dubstep, grime. UK funky, garage, you get what I'm saying? We've got all drum and bass and all over the world. I've been to nearly every country in the world and our music gets played everywhere. Why don't we celebrate that? That is something we need to celebrate. British music is fucking great. You get what I'm saying? We are winning all over the world. Like what we're doing is great. What Skeps is doing is great. Why he's doing is great. What EZ's doing is great. It's all... I'm going home. <laughs>